The Rouge Quick Trake set consists of a pre-assembled cricothyrotomy unit with a 10mm syringe attached, a padded neck strap, and a connecting tube. The actual cricothyrotomy unit consists of a plastic cannula with fixation flange and 15mm connector, a removable stainless steel cricothyrotomy needle, and a removable stopper. The cricothyrotomy unit is pre-assembled and ready to use. If intubation or tracheotomy is impossible or cannot be performed fast enough in the presence of acute respiratory distress with upper airway obstruction threatening to cause asphyxia, the use of the Rouge Quick Trach set is recommended to provide the patient with air again quickly. Hyperextension of the head stretches the skin of the neck and facilitates the identification of the laryngeal structures. Two fingers steady the larynx, while the index finger palpates the site of the puncture, the cricothyroid ligament. The anatomical situation is as follows. The thyroid cartilage forms the upper border of the cricothyroid ligament. The cricoid cartilage, the lower border. This means it can be felt as a clearly palpable depression between the two cartilaginous structures, a few centimeters below the Adam's apple in the midline. After disinfecting the skin, hold the larynx in position with one hand. Place the cricothyrotomy unit in the midline and perforate the soft tissues of the neck at a right angle. Keep aspirating while advancing the unit into the trachea. Now incline the unit at an angle of 45 degrees and advance it further into the trachea until the stopper meets the skin. Remove the stopper. Hold the steel needle and advance only the plastic cannula. Withdraw the steel needle and advance the plastic cannula until the fixation flange lies on the skin. The fixation flange is secured to the patient's neck with the padded strap. To ventilate the patient, the connecting tube is connected to the 15 mm connector on the plastic cannula. The other end of the tube is connected to a ventilation bag or system. Finally, ventilation is checked by auscultating both lungs. The patient is now ready for further medical care.